how you doing? What's up? How's life? How did you sleep? Anyways, um, why would I get this matter again, y'all? <sighs> yeah, I didn't know who was matter again. Um, I haven't done a video. I haven't done a vlog. I haven't done anything. And I don't have an actual legit reason except for the fact that I'm just tired of the content I'm creating. That's the only reason I have. You're doing it? I'm tired of the content I'm creating. Like, I wish I had a little bit uh, a variety of what I could do. Instead of doing the same thing, but because we don't get around like that, and we don't get to breathe out like that, and yeah, it's like the same stuff over and over again, and I get tired of recording it, so I feel like God gets tired of seeing it. Who said I needed help? Wait, I never do what? You never do mommy content. Mommy and content day? Yeah. It means me and you doing content. Oh, you want me and you doing content. Yeah. Well, can I first do what I was going to do and then you can come? Can I finish what I was doing first? What do you mean, noise videos? Right. Oh, the a ASMR videos? ASMR videos? Yeah. Like when you never talk, just do the noise. Yeah, like that. <laughs> you're being loud. Remember, you're not supposed to talk. Uh huh. Now you ruined it. You ruined it for whoever was enjoying it. If you don't bite your nails, you can do it, but you keep biting your nails. Uh uh. I didn't like mommies. Stop biting your nails and they'll be like mommies. So, <clears throat> that's what I was saying. Um, I feel like I'm tired of the content that's being created. And it'd be dope if I'd be able to create, like, better content. And be happier with what I'm creating, I guess you can say. Um... Like, we went to the doctor on Friday. I was going to record, but I didn't. And, and I should have because we were out of the building. We were doing something different. And I kind of want to, you know, record my dinner with my teeth and everything else because it's what I'm going through, what I'm dealing with. And um, it was a pre-op uh, appointment. I had two, one with anesthesia and the other one with the dental office. And, um, it went well. Like, it went great. My surgery is next month on the 6th. I still don't know what time. So, it was cool. We got stuck up there, though. Like, I had another little traumatic transportation issue. Which just adds on to my frustrations of being in a wheelchair. Like, you know, I got this one. Uh, medication paper, paper. Mm -hmm. and um 
I, I was like, you know, going to record a little vlog update and all that stuff, but then it's kind of like, dude, I'm just, I'm bored of my content, and then our room has been looking a hot mess for the past, like, two weeks, two to three weeks. Do I look Sorry. like I'm doing something? And this is another reason why I get frustrated with creating content because sometimes I have an idea of the content that I would like to create and everybody around me doesn't respect it. I'm sorry. And that is very, 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 very frustrating because then my content continues to look like it's just a mess all over the place. And this is my real life that I'm dealing with and it's frustrating. It's frustrating. It's irritating. It's frustrating. It's stressful. It's annoying. All of the above. You're behind the dresser too late. I feel like it's going to take forever to grow our channel. I feel like I'm just wasting time trying to grow our channel. You could do your content right now. But I'm doing my content now. You should just respect when I'm doing my content instead of trying to make a video of me doing my content on your tablet that I'm not going to use. Oh, I make my own content. And you're going to use up space on your tablet. And then I pass it over. Yeah. I don't want that. Don't nobody want that because it's trash and it's going to end up everywhere in the room. And then I pass it over. And I want to read This. This sack from the king in the prison that you're invited to a party. 
king of beef. It's just not real. So he said, come to my birthday party. It's tiger themed. I'll just write that. That's it. Definitely not. Now that letter is perfect. So for the first one to do today is Zia Hazel. That's her. She says that, oh dear mother, do not do this to me, I will not run away. That was a decent sense yeah. And the rest of them are gonna win. Your birthday. Are you done? Oh, yeah. So you can do your content again. All right, later. It is too cold to be out here, but since Belle was going to Lido's anyways to get some milk and some butter, I figured I'll come down and try to re-update what I was trying to update inside until Butt Butt decided she want to intervene because I hate that she don't let me get my stuff out. Like, she puts me in such a fog because I'd be like, ooh, I'm going to be productive. Let me create this type of content and I'm going to talk about this and I'm going to cover that and I'm going to cover this. And then as soon as I hit record, she come my baby and throws off all my game plan. And it'd be frustrating me because in my head, I'm like, yo, I saw this going completely different. Then what I just went. <sighs> I had to get out my bipolar moment. Because she put me in a bipolar moment. I had to write in my manifestation book. And put myself back into a positive groove. And I'm back. And I'm back. Okay. But yeah. So I haven't recorded. Because it's been the same stuff every single day. Like and I get bored of it. And I know if I get bored of it. Y'all got to get bored of it. So it leaves me with. What do I record now? Like what do i do now what do i say now like i'm not really trying to pull uh push the coaching business until my teeth are done uh yeah see how horrible they look yeah this is gonna be taken out on the 6th of february i'm looking forward to it because finally i'll be able to get rid of the chronic tooth pains that i have and my inability to be able to chew with my teeth the way that it is now like I'd be in so much pain trying to chew. Like, right now, I have shooting pain. I drank the coffee that's hot, and I accidentally touched the teeth on that side. Yeah, and it hurts. But um, I'm looking forward to it. I wanted to record it, um, but I just don't know how I want to do it, because, yeah, it's just me doing this. Like, and, I, yeah, so I don't know. But... I don't know who else may have to go through a journey like mine or anything like that. So I figured it would be cool to document it, you know. But Friday we went to the pre-op surgery. Like I said, it was to pretty much talk about what to expect. The recovery time, about the dentures, because I got to make that appointment with a separate um, office. In the same location, just a separate office. I haven't made that appointment yet, so I need to call tomorrow and find out um, when I should be making that appointment, whether I should be making it now before the surgery or, like, after the surgery, like, you know, that's so I can know what I'm going to do. Come on. And, um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I know I'm going to be in a lot of pain because they're also going to scrape down a bone to get my mouth ready for dentures i didn't know that they did that so now i'm over here like wow i'm gonna be double the pain but i'm hoping it won't be a long lasting pain i 
just push all the coffee to the other side. I'm hoping it won't be a long lasting pain. Um, I know she said to expect a lot of bleeding. I'm hoping that won't be too much either. Um, I know the swelling is going to take about two and a half months to go down. Um, so I got to be ready to have, I mean, I, my gums have been swollen on and off, on and off. So it's a little irritating and uncomfortable when they're swollen. But, um, it's not something that, I, you know, I haven't dealt with, I guess you could say, or, um, yeah, I haven't dealt with, I guess is what you can say, but. I'm low-key worried more about the kids because, like, dad is unavailable at the current moment to be able to take butt-butt or to watch butt-butt. Um, so that means butt-butt and Biba would both have to come with me. And they already told us it's going to take a while at the hospital so to be prepared to be there for a while. Like, the procedure itself takes an hour. Um, but the recovery, wake up part and all that, like after the procedure is what takes longer. Um, so yeah, I'm worried about lyrical stressing, you know, but by stressing Bubba out. And um, then I gotta make sure I got enough money to be able to feed them while they're there because we don't know how long we're actually going to be there. So that's another little bit of a stressor that I have because we don't have extra coins like that. And um, yeah, so, but, Oh, my poor baby, I'm tired. Well, yeah, once you get tired after first doing directions, then getting hit on, then going to the store, then coming back. That's what the dude was doing? Yes. That's why he stopped? First he thought to get extra directions. Then all of a sudden he came back around and hit on me after driving off. Ooh, he's so lucky I didn't wheel my ass <laughs> over there like I had wanted to and be like, excuse me, why the fuck are you talking to my daughter? And after explaining the part of autism, he didn't get the hint of just leave me alone. I had to, because he asked, first he asked if I had a boyfriend. I was like, no. And then he asked, um, then he was, you know, typical hitting on stuff, I guess. I don't know. I'm doing something that works. Because after that, I was like, you know, why the fuck are you talking to me mm -hmm. in my head? But anyways, um, then I was like, he would ask, so that means you can't have a boyfriend. I said, no, you just want to, you're just making me uncomfortable. So you're like, oh, okay, fine. Uh, you had to tell him that he was making you uncomfortable in order for him to leave you alone? Yes. Wow. Wow. My baby be getting head on all the time. All the time. And she's beautiful. Why wouldn't she? Like, she is so beautiful. She don't be believing me when I tell her how pretty she is. She is very beautiful. Very beautiful. She doesn't believe me, though. I be telling her all the time. Like, why are you so pretty? Like, you... You thought the door was going to be unlocked? Well, last Sunday it was. Oh, it's not supposed to be, though. That's the crazy part. It's not supposed to be unlocked. We about to get breakfast going. Um, we about to do some oatmeal, and we gotta get some cleaning done because this room looks like who done did it and ran. But all right, y'all. You may proceed now, <laughs> ma'am. I'm sorry, I had to record it because you were. I wasn't. That's not my answer. But I love everything that you were saying because it's on motherfucking point. But go ahead, I need you to continue. Um, no, turn off Siri before she goes searching for something. Um, so, get back into a rut that we have no business being in. 
and we're doing exactly what we said we weren't going to do. So that's a way of fighting back. Again, because of what? And I get, yeah, but we said we weren't going to let it take over. And then you said you were going to, and now things are about to start getting real. So we got to plant our feet in the ground and stand tall and try to brace ourselves because there's no one there to catch us but ourselves. And we may true. have each other, but each individual suffers with their own thing that they don't want to tell or spill to each other at the same time. So again, it's secretly sometimes one for all and all for one instead of all for one and one for all because you got your own demons you don't want to unleash on people sometimes people don't understand instead of they are thinking all right they want to be secretive because they think they're all that or they want to be secretive because they think that we're not strong enough to take it which sometimes that is true but more like not strong enough in the sense of insult than care but it's more of I don't want to burden anyone else with the trouble that I go through if they don't have to be. Because, yeah, it takes a village, but at the same time, if that village is broken, is taken down by the same foe all at once, then who's there to look after the next generation? You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. I'm, I pick, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Now, I'm going to let them know. My original question was, why I can't have a bipolar meltdown, pretty much a breakdown? Because I'm going to catch y'all up real quick. I just had a spasm moment, about three or four back to back, and less than like an hour or half ago, right? And I even went outside, smoked a cigarette, cooled myself down, come back in and got triggered back up again as soon as I opened the door. Like, I just couldn't get out of that damn bipolar motherfucking hurricane that was just hitting me. So, but there's one problem. And this is the the answer Biba did not give me because like I told her before I started recording and we were talking, I don't think you're gonna know my answer. And she doesn't know my answer. This is why, I'm going to tell you why I'm not able to have my mental breakdown or my bipolar hurricane spasm moments or any of that. And why I must keep my cool is because of you. You take everything personal. I may be spazzing at your brother or I may be spazzing at your sister or I may be spazzing in general, and it includes everybody in my spaz, but Beva, as loving as she is, and as kind-hearted as she is, and as big-hearted as she is, and as generous as she is, goes inside herself and beats herself up. Now, why the fuck would I allow that to happen? If my job is to protect you, then why am I going to be the cause of why you beat yourself up? You get what I'm saying? I'm not gonna make an action or I'm, I'm got my, oh my God, I have to rephrase this because sometimes the actions come without me realizing it. But if I start it and I catch myself, I'm gonna stop it. If I catch myself before I start it, I'm gonna stop it. I'm not gonna allow it to happen. Why? Because that means I'm hurting you. And that goes for your brother and your sister too. That's why a lot of the time you see me do what? I leave. I leave or I tell myself, Lynette, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Lynette. Shut the fuck up, Lynette. Shut the fuck up. Because I'm bringing myself back to whatever little bit of reality I can to remind myself of who I'm talking to and why it's so imperative for me to be very cautious of the words that are gonna come out my mouth instead of allowing my conditions to dictate what's gonna come out my mouth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I can't do that because I know how you are and I'm not gonna put you in that situation if I can help it. 
that's why when it does happen and unfortunately i do play a part in it i apologize and i feel so horrible afterwards because i literally sit down and i start thinking why didn't i catch myself before it happened where did I miss my own signs of you are escalating, you're escalating, you're escalating. Warning, 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 shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. And I bypassed all of that and didn't even realize at all until the damage was done. And that is, in my eyes, is not okay. And I'm the one that's doing it and it's not okay to me in any shape, way or motherfucking form. It's not okay, point blank, period it's not okay and that's why when i'm able to catch myself when i'm able to stop myself and i'm able to have control over it i'm gonna take it because i don't want to dish it i'm gonna take it because i don't want to put you in that situation though i don't take it differently than you do. you take it way deeper than he does he bounces back up really quick he has he'll have a little aftermath here and there and he'll doubt himself a little bit here and there but it still doesn't stop him from being him. You know what I mean? With you, it does. It takes you into such a bad place where you start questioning if you're even good enough. And that's not okay. Because baby girl, you're better than good enough. I've been completely blessed to have you. I give thanks to God every single day for having you. Like, I don't regret ever becoming a mom at all. And I don't care the struggles and the trials and tribulations we've been through and the frustrations and everything else i don't regret being a mom and i never will yes it drives me motherfucking crazy as hell sometimes but it's more because i'm not able to do the things that i used to be able to do and that dictates how i show up and i hate it i don't like it it makes me feel so damn vulnerable and i can't stand it because i don't like being weak but it's not even being weak. It's because I'm vulnerable. I'm receptive to being hurt. I'm not covered up and protected. You get what I'm saying? And that right there is a big old PTSD motherfucking trigger. But it's with you guys. So I shouldn't be feeling that way. But I still feel that way. But we got a game plan. We gonna work on the floor. This is this is this is all happening because we're trying to figure out how to get the room done. It's hard to get the Lana to cooperate sometimes and willingly want to help or having to deal with his back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then Biba gets into her her mood sometimes where she gets irritated badly with him and then it, it stops her from being motivated and we'll be back at square one. And then sometimes I try to get up and I can't because my body won't let me do it. My mind is like, bitch, get the fuck up and get this shit motherfucking done. And my body is like, bitch, shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down. Who the fuck you think you is? And they don't get along and they won't be on the same, you know, accord when it comes to shit. And then I got to be like, what the fuck can I do? If I get up and I bust my ass, then they going to worry and it's going to be worse. Okay, then let me sit my ass down. What can I do while I'm sitting? Like, yeah. Um... So we made up a game plan, but Biba, I had I had to put y'all in because everything that Biba was saying is true. Like we said, we were gonna get our stuff together, right? Mm -hmm. And keep on being on our positive streak and staying on the right path and all that good shit. But sometimes life comes and. takes you on the motherfucking ass and knocks you over and then you gotta get up and wipe yourself off and you know get back to it again but sometimes you get up a little groggy or you get up a little unfocused mm -hmm. and it takes you a little bit to get it back together again but that's okay right because yeah. that just means you're human you're doing the best you can with what you got and that's really what matters as long as you are showing up the day you stop showing up, that's when it's a problem. You know, I have to show up no matter what. And that's what we're doing. We're showing up. I mean, we ain't showing up perfect because we're not perfect. But we're showing up as best as we can. Yeah, so I just had to share that with y'all. Because they might be having some dope insights. Like, don't sleep on my baby girl. Because she be having some dope, dope insights. Alright, y'all. Um, Later.